Full explanation and more details of solid electrolytic capacitors. Solid electrolytic capacitors are a type of electrolytic capacitor that utilizes solid electrolyte instead of a liquid or gel electrolyte. This solid electrolyte typically consists of a conductive polymer or a conductive oxide, which serves as the dielectric material between the electrodes. Here's a more detailed breakdown of solid electrolytic capacitors. The construction of solid electrolytic capacitors involves several key components and steps. Electrodes. Solid electrolytic capacitors typically have two electrodes, one anode and one cathode. These electrodes are usually made of highly conductive materials like aluminum or tantalum. The choice of electrode material depends on factors such as desired capacitance, voltage rating, and application requirements. Dielectric material. The dielectric material in solid electrolytic capacitors is a solid electrolyte. This solid electrolyte can be made of various materials, including conductive polymers like polypyrrole or polythiophene, or conductive oxides like manganese dioxide. The dielectric material is deposited onto the surface of the electrode through a process called electrochemical deposition. Substrate. The electrodes and dielectric material are typically deposited onto a substrate, which serves as the physical support for the capacitor structure. The substrate is often made of materials like ceramic or glass, providing mechanical stability to the capacitor. Electrochemical deposition. The process of depositing the solid electrolyte onto the electrode surface is crucial in the construction of solid electrolytic capacitors. This process involves immersing the substrate with the electrode into a solution containing precursor materials for the solid electrolyte. An electric current is then passed through the solution, causing a chemical reaction that deposits the solid electrolyte material onto the electrode surface. The thickness of the deposited electrolyte layer determines the capacitance of the capacitor. Encapsulation. Once the solid electrolyte material is deposited onto the electrodes, the capacitor is usually encapsulated to protect it from environmental factors such as moisture, dust, and mechanical stress. The encapsulation material is typically a non-conductive resin or polymer that provides insulation and physical protection to the capacitor. Termination. Finally, the capacitor is terminated with external connections, usually in the form of metal leads or terminals. These terminations allow the capacitor to be soldered onto a circuit board or connected to other electronic components. Overall, the construction of solid electrolytic capacitors involves precise deposition of the solid electrolyte material onto the electrodes, encapsulation for protection, and termination for external connections, resulting in a compact and reliable capacitor structure suitable for various electronic applications. The electrodes and solid electrolytic capacitors play a crucial role in their operation. These electrodes are conductive materials that serve as the positive anode and negative cathode terminals of the capacitor. Here's a closer look at the electrodes in solid electrolytic capacitors. Anode and cathode. Solid electrolytic capacitors have two electrodes, the anode and the cathode. The anode is typically made of a valve metal such as aluminum or tantalum. Valve metals are metals that form a stable oxide layer on their surface when exposed to oxygen. This oxide layer acts as the dielectric material in the capacitor. The cathode is usually made of a conductive material such as a conductive polymer or a conductive oxide. High surface area. The electrodes in solid electrolytic capacitors are designed to have a high surface area. This is achieved through various manufacturing techniques such as etching, sintering, or using porous structures. High surface area electrodes increase the capacitance of the capacitor by providing more surface area for the formation of the dielectric layer. Formation process. Before the solid electrolyte material is deposited onto the electrodes, the anode undergoes a formation process. This process involves applying a voltage to the anode in an electrolytic solution, which forms a thin, uniform oxide layer on its surface. This oxide layer serves as the dielectric material in the capacitor. The cathode may also undergo a similar formation process depending on the specific type of solid electrolytic capacitor. Substrate. The electrodes are typically deposited onto a substrate, which serves as the physical support for the capacitor structure. The substrate is often made of materials like ceramic or glass, providing mechanical stability to the capacitor. Interconnects. The electrodes are connected to the external circuitry through interconnects, which are usually metal leads or terminals. These interconnects allow the capacitor to be soldered onto a circuit board or connected to other electronic components. Overall, 
The electrodes and solid electrolytic capacitors are designed to have a high surface area, undergo a formation process to create a stable oxide layer, and are connected to the external circuitry through interconnects. These electrodes play a critical role in the performance and reliability of solid electrolytic capacitors in various electronic applications. The dielectric material in solid electrolytic capacitors serves as the insulating layer between the electrodes, allowing the storage of electrical energy. Unlike traditional electrolytic capacitors which use liquid or gel electrolytes, solid electrolytic capacitors employ a solid dielectric material. This dielectric material is typically a conductive polymer or a conductive oxide. Conductive polymers Conductive polymers, such as polypyrrole or polythiophene, are commonly used as dielectric materials in solid electrolytic capacitors. These polymers are organic materials that exhibit both electrical conductivity and flexibility. Conductive polymers offer advantages such as high conductivity, low equivalent series resistance, ESR, and good thermal stability. They can be deposited onto the electrode surface using techniques like electrochemical polymerization or vapor deposition. Conductive oxides Another type of dielectric material used in solid electrolytic capacitors is conductive oxides, with manganese dioxide being the most common choice. Conductive oxides are inorganic materials that exhibit high electrical conductivity. Manganese dioxide is particularly favored due to its stability and compatibility with electrode materials like tantalum. The deposition of manganese dioxide onto the electrode surface can be achieved through processes like chemical vapor deposition or electrodeposition. Formation process The dielectric material undergoes a formation process during capacitor manufacturing. This process involves depositing the solid electrolyte material onto the electrode surface through chemical reactions. For example, in the case of conductive polymer-based capacitors, electrochemical polymerization is used to form a thin layer of polymer on the electrode surface. Similarly, in capacitors using conductive oxides, the oxide material is deposited onto the electrode through processes like electrodeposition. Properties The dielectric material in solid electrolytic capacitors is characterized by properties such as high electrical conductivity, stability over a wide temperature range, low ESR, and compatibility with electrode materials. These properties contribute to the performance and reliability of solid electrolytic capacitors in various electronic applications. Advantages Solid electrolytic capacitors offer several advantages over traditional electrolytic capacitors, including higher capacitance values, lower ESR, and improved reliability due to the use of solid dielectric materials. Solid electrolytic capacitors are often preferred in applications where space, weight, and reliability are critical factors. In summary, the dielectric material in solid electrolytic capacitors plays a crucial role in enabling the storage of electrical energy while offering properties such as high conductivity, stability, and compatibility with electrode materials. Conductive polymers and conductive oxides are the two main types of dielectric materials used in solid electrolytic capacitors, each offering unique advantages and characteristics. The manufacturing process of solid electrolytic capacitors involves several steps, including electrode fabrication, dielectric deposition, encapsulation, and termination. Here's an overview of the typical manufacturing process. Electrode fabrication. Anode formation. For capacitors with an aluminum anode, the aluminum foil is etched to increase its surface area. The foil is then oxidized to form a thin layer of aluminum oxide, which serves as the dielectric. Cathode formation. The cathode, typically made of a conductive polymer or conductive oxide, is prepared separately. This may involve depositing the conductive material onto a substrate through techniques like vapor deposition or electrodeposition. Dielectric deposition. The prepared anode and cathode are assembled with a separator, which prevents direct contact between the electrodes. The assembly is immersed in a solution containing precursor materials for the solid electrolyte. This solution may contain monomers or other chemicals necessary for the formation of the solid electrolyte material. An electric current is applied to the assembly, initiating an electrochemical deposition process. This causes the solid electrolyte material to deposit onto the anode and cathode surfaces, forming the dielectric layer. The thickness of the dielectric layer is controlled to achieve the desired capacitance. Encapsulation Once the dielectric layer is formed, the capacitor is encapsulated to protect it from environmental factors such as moisture, dust, 
and mechanical stress. Encapsulation materials such as epoxy resins or polymers are used to cover the capacitor assembly. This provides insulation and physical protection to the capacitor. Termination The encapsulated capacitor is terminated with external connections, typically in the form of metal leads or terminals. These terminations allow the capacitor to be soldered onto a circuit board or connected to other electronic components. Testing After manufacturing, solid electrolytic capacitors undergo testing to ensure they meet specified performance criteria. This may include tests for capacitance, equivalent series resistance, ESR, leakage current, and voltage rating, packaging, and labeling. Once tested, the capacitors are packaged and labeled according to industry standards and customer requirements. This includes specifying capacitance values, voltage ratings, and other relevant parameters. Quality control Throughout the manufacturing process, quality control measures are implemented to ensure that the capacitors meet quality standards and specifications. This may involve inspections, testing, and documentation of manufacturing processes and materials used. Overall, the manufacturing process of solid electrolytic capacitors involves precise fabrication of electrodes, deposition of the solid electrolyte dielectric, encapsulation for protection, termination for external connections, testing for performance verification, and quality control measures to ensure consistent quality and reliability. Solid electrolytic capacitors offer several advantages over other types of capacitors, particularly traditional electrolytic capacitors. Here are some of the key advantages. Stability and reliability. Solid electrolytic capacitors are known for their stability and reliability. Unlike traditional electrolytic capacitors which use liquid or gel electrolytes, solid electrolytic capacitors use solid dielectric materials that do not dry out or leak over time. This results in capacitors that have longer operational lifespans and exhibit consistent performance throughout their lifetime. High capacitance values. Solid electrolytic capacitors can achieve higher capacitance values compared to other types of capacitors of similar size. This is due to their compact design and the use of high surface area electrodes, which allow for more effective utilization of the available space. Low equivalent series resistance, ESR solid electrolytic capacitors typically have lower ESR compared to traditional electrolytic capacitors. This means they can provide more efficient filtering and decoupling in electronic circuits leading to improved overall performance and reduced power losses. Compact size, solid electrolytic capacitors are compact in size, making them suitable for applications where space is limited. Their small form factor allows for high capacitance values to be achieved within a relatively small footprint, making them ideal for use in compact electronic devices and densely populated circuit boards. High temperature stability, Solid electrolytic capacitors are generally more stable over a wide temperature range compared to other types of capacitors. This makes them suitable for use in applications where temperature fluctuations are common, such as automotive electronics or industrial equipment. Long shelf life. Solid electrolytic capacitors have a longer shelf life compared to traditional electrolytic capacitors. The solid dielectric materials used in solid electrolytic capacitors do not degrade or dry out over time ensuring that the capacitors maintain their specified performance characteristics even after prolonged storage periods. Wide Operating Voltage Range Solid electrolytic capacitors are available in a wide range of voltage ratings, making them suitable for use in various voltage-sensitive applications. They can withstand higher voltage levels without sacrificing performance or reliability. Overall, solid electrolytic capacitors offer a combination of stability, reliability, high capacitance, low ESR, compact size, temperature stability, and long shelf life, making them a preferred choice for a wide range of electronic applications. Solid electrolytic capacitors find applications in a variety of electronic devices and systems where their specific advantages are beneficial. Some common applications include Power supplies Solid electrolytic capacitors are frequently used in power supply circuits to filter and stabilize the output voltage. Their high capacitance values and low equivalent series resistance, ESR, make them effective for smoothing out fluctuations in voltage and reducing ripple. Audio equipment. Solid electrolytic capacitors are employed in audio equipment such as amplifiers, speakers, and recording devices. Their stable performance, low ESR, and high capacitance values contribute to improved signal filtering and sound quality. 
Telecommunications Solid electrolytic capacitors are utilized in telecommunications equipment including routers, switches, and base stations. They provide decoupling and filtering functions in circuitry, ensuring reliable signal transmission and reception. Automotive Electronics Solid electrolytic capacitors are suitable for automotive applications due to their temperature stability and resistance to vibration. They are used in various automotive systems including engine control units, ECUs, infotainment systems, and lighting systems. Industrial Equipment Solid electrolytic capacitors are found in industrial equipment such as motor drives, HVAC systems, and factory automation systems. Their stability, reliability, and ability to operate in harsh environments make them well-suited for industrial applications. Consumer Electronics Solid electrolytic capacitors are commonly used in consumer electronic devices such as TVs, computers, game consoles, and mobile phones. Their compact size and high capacitance values enable efficient power delivery and voltage regulation in these devices. Medical Devices Solid electrolytic capacitors are utilized in medical devices such as patient monitoring systems, imaging equipment, and diagnostic devices. Their reliability and stable performance are critical in medical applications where accuracy and precision are essential. Renewable Energy Systems Solid electrolytic capacitors are employed in renewable energy systems such as solar inverters and wind turbines. They help smooth out voltage fluctuations and improve the efficiency of energy conversion processes. Aerospace and Defense Solid electrolytic capacitors are used in aerospace and defense applications including aircraft avionics, radar systems, and missile guidance systems. Their reliability and performance under extreme conditions make them suitable for use in demanding aerospace and defense environments. Overall, solid electrolytic capacitors are versatile components that find widespread use in various electronic devices and systems across different industries, where their stability, reliability, and performance characteristics are highly valued. While solid electrolytic capacitors offer many advantages, they also have some disadvantages compared to other types of capacitors. Here are some common disadvantages associated with solid electrolytic capacitors. Cost Solid electrolytic capacitors are generally more expensive to manufacture compared to other types of capacitors, such as aluminum electrolytic capacitors or ceramic capacitors. The specialized materials and manufacturing processes involved contribute to their higher cost, making them less cost-effective for some applications. Voltage Limitation Solid electrolytic capacitors may have lower voltage ratings compared to other types of capacitors, limiting their use in high-voltage applications. This can be a disadvantage in applications requiring high-voltage handling capabilities, where other capacitor types may be more suitable. Temperature Sensitivity While solid electrolytic capacitors are generally more stable over a wide temperature range compared to traditional electrolytic capacitors, some types of solid electrolytic capacitors may still exhibit temperature sensitivity. Extreme temperatures can affect their performance and reliability, leading to potential issues in harsh operating environments. Limited availability. Solid electrolytic capacitors may have limited availability compared to other types of capacitors, especially in specialized configurations or high capacitance values. This limited availability can pose challenges for designers and manufacturers sourcing components for specific applications. Component size. While solid electrolytic capacitors offer high capacitance values for their size, they may still be larger in physical size compared to other types of capacitors with similar capacitance ratings. This can be a disadvantage in space-constrained applications where compact component size is critical. Temperature and humidity requirements. Some types of solid electrolytic capacitors may have specific temperature and humidity requirements during storage and operation to maintain their performance and reliability. Failure to adhere to these requirements can lead to degradation or premature failure of the capacitors. Reliability Concerns Although solid electrolytic capacitors are known for their stability and reliability, there have been instances of reliability issues in the past, particularly with certain formulations of conductive polymers. These reliability concerns, such as premature failure due to factors like voltage overstress or excessive temperature, can be a disadvantage in critical applications where reliability is paramount. Overall, while solid electrolytic capacitors offer many advantages, including stability, high capacitance, and reliability, they also have some disadvantages that need to be considered when selecting components for specific electronic applications. 
It's essential for designers and engineers to carefully evaluate these factors and weigh them against the requirements of their particular application.